Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you some, hmm, what do we call it? Is it information? Is it fact? Is it gossip? Is it hearsay? I'm bringing you an amalgamation of a lot of research and uh, questions that I've asked certain people about what's going on at Galan in terms of the uh, alleged discontinuation of L'Art et Matière collection, the alleged discontinuation of Les Parisiennes, Les Parisiens, uh, so the ladies and the men's Les Paris Parisienne line and also Elixir Charnel apparently being discontinued. So I have been scouring the internet in all sorts of different corners of the internet. Plus I have spoken to a couple of friends in the know and I have put all the information together to most people, uh, where, peop where a few different people are saying the same thing. There seems to be a lot of agreement, so I'm not finding too much contradiction. So I'm going to bring you everything I've got. Please don't take it as read. It is not fact until such a time as Galan publish the information or, or put the new bottles on their website. We are not going to know anything for fact, but this is basically a speculation slash hearsay slash a little bit of some uh, closer to the action information. So let's get started. So a lot of people have been noticing over the last couple of months that they've not been able to get hold of some of the exclusives from Galan, the, uh, some of the Latte Matières, Le Parisiennes, uh, Elixir Charnels, and rumours have been going round and round and around that they're all being discontinued. And now, uh, the other day, Galan accidentally, I believe, released new bottles on their website and then took them down again but in the time the website was up with these new bottles lots of screenshots were taken by lots of people and they are all over the internet i'm going to include in this video some photos that other people have managed to capture from the website so you can see the new bottles and i'll do that now actually so here's some now And so the information that I've gained so far is that the uh, the new line will be available from the 1st of September. That date is probably European. However, it may well also be worldwide. I'm not entirely sure, but I would say that from the 1st of September, certainly here in Europe, the new line is gonna be available and you'll be able to then, of course, see it on their website. The pricing that was released when they accidentally released new bottles on the website, the prices were given as 295 euros for 100 mil, but they're doing 200 mils as well at 425 euros. Lots of people have been complaining that that is a price hike, but if you do the maths on the price per mil, it's not much different. And then if you go for the 200 mil, it's actually cheaper. So if you're someone who splits, if you sell parts of your bottle to subsidize buying it, uh, you're actually going to be better off with the 200 mil. Now there are uh, a list of uh, fragrances that will be in this new line, and I think they're calling it Holt Perfumery. In the new line, apparently 17 fragrances, and most of the Latte Matière, so uh, you're going to find Queer Beluga, Angelique Noir, Cool Gardenia, Joya Tuberose, Neroli Ultra Noir, Rose Barbar, Spiritus Double Veni, Tonka Imperial, Iris Torifier. Uh, there is also Poupre Hoyliette, I don't know how to say this word, O E I W -L, L E T, Poupre Ouliette, and that is a repackaged version of Louis. Louis being the little black bottle, the Art Deco black bottle, which is like a, a, a very re a resin amber type scent. So that's going to be much better value because that bottle was expensive and you only got a small bottle. So if that's the same price as everything else, that's a better deal. There's also going to be one called Vervienne Revolutionaire. 
I'm not entirely sure if that's a repackaged version of something else. I don't know about that one. There's one called Epices Volus or Volus, and that was Arsen Lupin Voyeur. So that's just repackaged. There's one called Frenchy Lavande, and that used to be just La Frenchy. Herbs Tublant, Herbs Tublant, and that is a repackaged version of Une Dimanche à la Campagne. Not that many people would have known about Une Dimanche à la Campagne. It wasn't very widely, um, I don't think it was widely available or seen. I've not heard many people talk about it. I was able to smell it when I was in Paris a few years ago. It's a nice uh, citrusy, everyday citrus musk type, cologne style fragrance. It used to be sold for 144 euros for a 250 ml bottle. So if they charge 295 for 100 ml, then that's a massive price increase on that one. So we will see whether they drop the prices on some of these repackaged, cheaper perfumes. Now there's a line from Guerlain which is, uh, the, it contains the, uh, the lingerie one which is a spray that you're supposed to spray your lingerie with, uh, the cashmere one, Oli which is the one that you're supposed to spray your bed with. Now they, I can't remember, they were quite a bit cheaper than Latte Matière so probably they used to be about the £100 mark-ish. Um, they are going into these new bottles. They will have white labels and that's what will set them apart. So I'm hoping that they won't charge as much for these ones because they're very light. They have a, a cologne-like um, uh, projection and uh, longevity. So you wouldn't really want to be paying 300 euros for a bottle of those. However, we don't know what's gonna happen with that. I have heard this is so I've got this is good news and bad news in one Mon Precious Nectar which was from Le Parisiennes line that is not being discontinued however they are planning to um, I think the idea was to quadruple the cost however that's not set in stone but that is something that uh, Galan were planning to do, whether they actually do that or whether they listen to feedback and, um, and maybe don't increase the price so much. Let's hope uh, that they don't. Maybe they're gonna make it an exclusive in a really posh bottle, but um, it is gonna be uh, uh, harder to find and more expensive, I think. French Kiss, so French Kiss was in the Elixir Charnel line. That has been discontinued, however, there are two new rose fragrances that are coming out in this new Haute Perfumerie collection. One of them is called Rose Cherie, and I have it on good authority. As someone who has actually smelled a lab sample of the new Rose Cherie has told me they believe that it is a reformulated version of French Kiss. It has a little uh, spiciness to it that French Kiss didn't used to have. And if you look at the notes of Rose Cherie, you will see that it actually sounds very similar to French Kiss. It has almond listed instead of heliotrope, but almond and heliotrope, but both well, almond smells a bit like heliotrope, heliotrope smells a bit like almond. So you'll see that the note listing is very, very similar. And um, when I read the note listing, I thought, well, that sounds like it's gonna smell like French Kiss. And I have it on authority that it does smell quite similar to French Kiss. So I'm excited for that because I love French Kiss, but it's a little too sickly sweet and a little linear for my taste. So I'm really hoping that uh, by reformulating it, that perhaps the um, it'll be a little more changeable on the skin so that I don't become sick of it like I do when sweet fragrances don't change. I get a little bit sick of them after a few hours. So basically when it comes to what's left in the Le Parisiens and Elixir Charnel line, uh, they're either discontinuing them. So Mademoiselle, I understand, is being discontinued. Um, most of the uh, elixirs are going to be available in stores 
more exclusively but not um, widely available. Uh, one very popular from the Elixir Charnel line is Gourmand Cocon. So I do not have any word on that. I would imagine that that will still be available in stores, but you might find it a bit harder to come by than it used to be. So a little more about the bottles. The caps are going to be customizable, so you can change certain things about the actual cap, and the cap is quite large. Um, uh, you can change the little uh, neck necklace around the cap, and um, there's going to be some options. I think the much more expensive ones, there's an embroidered B on top of the cap. <laughs> So um, I've seen a photo of that that does look beautiful, but I'm guessing it will come at a much higher price. Uh, so the new one that's coming into the line that I haven't already mentioned, so Rose Cherie. <laughs> Let me give you the note listing. It's almond, damask, rose, water, damask, rose, rose centrifolia, raspberry and violet. So that's the, list, that's the note listing for Rose Cherie. Santel Pal Rosa is the other one that's a brand new edition. And that has cardamom, sandalwood, fig, hazelnut, rose, oud, myrrh, and that one is by Delphine Jelk. Apparently, they are not reformulating all of these fragrances. Some people were worried that they were all going to be reformulated because they're in new bottles apparently that is not the case they should all be exactly as you remember them so that should be good news to most people i would imagine now was uh, i was asked by one of my viewers amy to investigate what's going on with galan in terms of uh, she's heard rumors and sort of read a few things that hint towards the fact that galan are pulling away from the United States and concentrating more on Europe and Asia. I haven't been able to find anything out uh, in terms of, of that. As far as I'm aware, you'll still be able to get Galan online. You'll still be able to get it in the boutiques. I think you have one in Toronto, one in Vegas, and I'm sure there are more. I know about those ones because I hear people like Eugene, you smells good talking about the Toronto boutique and uh, I often hear about the Vegas boutique. I would say, uh, so I, I haven't been able to find out too much, so I, I do apologise for that Amy, but if you are watching this and you have some information, if you, if you have any information at all on whether or not Golan are coming away from the United States, will they be less available over there then please leave the information in the comments below and um, if you have some good information i'll pin it so that everyone can see it regarding the elixirs let's go back to the elixirs for a minute apparently they won't be in the same bottles they're in now you would only be able to buy them in the b bottles so the b bottles are well, actually, this is what my Mon Precious Nectar came in, but the B bottles are like this, and they're 125 mils. So you would be able to buy those in the stores that have the fountains, and that's where you would get your Elixir Charnel line. So they, they won't be in those old bottles that you are familiar with. If you have any more information, if you know something, you want to share it, please do so in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about all of these changes. I think for me, I, I did feel that there were too many different lines at Galan with, uh, with the Elixir Charnels. I used to mix them up, Elixir Charnels, the, you've got the Absolute Dorians. Like, as far as I'm aware, nothing is happening with those. And although that sour rose sale Pal, what's it called? <laughs> the rose, the new rose one, Santel Pal Rosa. That, the note listing sounds more like it would belong in an absolute Dorian bottle than uh, the this new line, but we shall see when we get to smell it. Let me know if you're excited for any of these changes or if you feel uh, that, that you, they are not welcome. Do, are you concerned? Do share information, opinions, and anything else on this whole situation in the comments below. And that is me done. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, feel free to share it, and feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Bye.
Bye.